Hey there everyone, this is uh, Big Sim B here. We got Don't Starve. Alright, so this game came out uh, I think November 2nd or somewhere around there. Uh, I looked earlier but I don't really remember, but it's kind of like a sandbox almost, but not really, but like open world kind of thing. We'll go ahead and make a new guy, or a new game. We got uh, a few characters here to pick from. I haven't got much further to unlock them, but yeah, so let's jump right in and uh, start the game up. So, you start off as like, kind of, I don't know, sleeping there, just knocked out. So, uh, some weird guy, Maxwell, and he disappears. So, basically, you are stuck in uh, this giant world. You can zoom out. I don't know if this is the whole map or whatever, but it's ginormous. So, I just lost my map. So, Hold on. There it is. Okay. <laughs> so, let's get some grass. And later on, you can, uh, well, let's just begin with uh, naming all the tools and kind of things that you see on the interface. So, here's your health, uh, 100 out of 100 right now. And then your hunger, which goes down, looks like every couple seconds by one. And Basically, you kind of name of the game is "Don't Starve," so you don't want to starve. So you always need food; otherwise, you're gonna starve. And there's other ways to die in the game too, such as like monsters or uh, pretty much monsters. I think and starving. That's about it. But basically, here's the timer for day. Once it hits the red, it gets to like uh, darkness, kind of getting a little dark. You can still see. You have a couple minutes to get uh, somewhere before it turns pitch black out, but if you get stuck in the pitch black, it's a little creepy. You start hearing noises and uh, this huge monster kind of hits you and then you die. So it's not very pleasant to die because when you do, you uh, lose everything. So let's start by making a axe. You need one sapling and one flint. And with. See, I'm picking up some carrots here for uh, food. Later on, you can roast pretty much everything that you get to eat. But, um, let's go ahead and get these. Get a berry bush. And then let's go ahead and chop this tree down. I love the sound that it makes when you hit the tree. <laughs> Alright, but you gotta keep clicking to uh, chop down trees and to mine and pretty much everything. So, uh, do that. Some more flint. Flint makes uh, all of your tools pretty much. Basic tools you'll need flint for, and I think it's other, and a couple other things, but I'm not sure. These real tiny saplings don't get you much wood, but they're quick to chop down, so I don't know what's more efficient. But basically, you just pretty much pick up everything that you see here. <laughs> and it starts getting nighttime, we can go ahead and make it campfire but till then we want to get everything that we can as much as we can right now so we'll be good for the night and oh looks like there's some bees those get you some pretty good uh, invention points which later on we can make a science machine thing and you can put stuff in there to research it and they'll give you back these uh, uh, invention points or something I don't remember what they're called but they give you those and then you can uh, research new things such as armor or a new tool or weapon or trap or like pretty much anything that's in the game and then with that you can uh, go ahead and build it which is pretty cool so um, we need some rocks because rocks will give us uh, gold nuggets and uh, some other things that can be useful like rocks which can make a better fire other than the one that you get for free <laughs> or uh, not free but just by using wood it's a pretty abundant resource here uh, chop her down <laughs> and you can see birds here. I don't really think, yeah, you can't really attack them, but if you click on them, usually they drop these seeds. 
Uh, damn, rabbit. <laughs> they drop seeds and you can eat the seeds, roasted seeds. They're pretty good, they heal quite a bit, but. Oh, come on. Rabbits are a little tricky to catch sometimes, you gotta catch them on the right angle. Otherwise, they're too quick and get away from you, but. Yeah. Rabbits don't heal too much, though. Food's not that great, but. You can also eat flowers, flower petals here. They don't do like practically anything. 58. Yeah, they don't do anything really. I think other than heal you a tiny bit, but we're at full health, so no big deal. There's some seeds, some carrots. So the mobs in this game are uh, spiders, pigmen, tall birds. Um, there's these giant, giant things. There's some spiders right now, but it's getting dark, so I think we're gonna go ahead and find a nice place with some trees here, just in case we ever run out. And let's go ahead and build the fire. Let's go build the campfire right, right there. And let's kill a spider, just for the fun. Oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah, sweet! You dropped silk. That's my first time. Um, <laughs> comes out of a spider's butt. All right. Well, silk is useful for fishing rod, or fishing or bird trap, or probably other things. But let's get some wood. Uh oh, big X or uh, X broke so. Let's go ahead and make another. It's real nice, you don't really need a crafting bench for all this, kind of like how Minecraft rolls. But there's a lot more stuff in Minecraft, I think. And... Yeah, let's wait out the scary night here. <laughs> Pick up a... nope, 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 nope. Pick up the uh, grass tuft. That gives you a lot of experience points, or research points, which is nice. It's a little bit creepy out here, but as long as your fire's over there, you're good. And there's scary noises. <laughs> so you don't want to get stuck out there, but this is a really cool way to do it. So see how the fire's getting really tiny? You can take a log, add fuel. Adds more flame to the area. That's pretty cool. Get a larger uh, diam diameter around you. <laughs> Shows more light. Eventually it'll go back down, but right now let's cook some carrots. This game has a nice feel to it, like just everything works. It's pretty cool. The way that you cook things and eat it. And I mean, I understand this is how the game works, but I hate... The only part I don't like is when you die, you kind of lose everything. You gotta restart the whole game. It'd be cool if it was like, if you didn't have to do that, just cause, I don't know, I don't really, I hate restarting after working really hard and then just losing, but it is what it is, I guess. Oh, I guess he got away. <laughs> We're gonna need a backpack here pretty soon, so let's just build that right now. It adds uh, eight slots, so you can heal, hold eight more things. Very nice. If you're adventuring or something. And it's daytime. It always lags a little when it's daytime, but. Yes. Oh, there the rabbit is. <laughs> okay, guys, so we survived the first night. I'm gonna have to stop it right here. So, uh, until next time, which will be pretty soon, I'll make an episode 2 of this. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.